up yes honey and welcome back to another new video today i am going to be opening a big package of lps which has actually been sitting in my room for almost a month now and i have been meaning to get around to this bad boy but i have been so busy i'm actually currently sick you might be able to hear it in my voice my nose is quite blocked so i'm a bit stuffy at the moment so I apologize. Um, I will try my best not to just like sniffle and mucus all over you guys because that's nasty. Besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed the newest trailer I released just before this video, Disappearance. I'm really excited to do this film. Um, it was actually going to be my Halloween special. I had planned everything out, but then last minute I had a big kind of, I guess, re-script of the story. I wanted to do things a bit differently. So, no Halloween special this year for the first time, and I do apologize for that, but it's technically still a Halloween special, just released in November instead. Either way, I really hope it will be worth the wait and you guys will enjoy it nonetheless. But, uh, let's do another unboxing while we wait for that, because I don't want to drop everything on you all at once. I want a little anticipation with the trailer. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get on to this package. Like I said, it's been sitting in my room for about a month or two. Um, there's two big bags, I believe, of LPS in here. I bought it from a seller on eBay who was selling their collection off. Unfortunately, they're not selling anymore, because if they were, I would have put the link in the description. So, um, I'll double check before I post this video, and if they are selling more pets, I'll leave a link. If they aren't, I won't bother putting the link, um, and I do apologize. But, um, yeah, let's get into the pets. So here's what we're working with. It's been sitting like this for so long. This is like a thin layer of dust over the top. But let's get these bad boys out of here. I'm so excited. Um, like I said, they were selling off their collection, so like the bags are numbered because I bought like bag number like two or three or something like that, and they had like 10 bags of pets. Um, I didn't buy them all, obviously, because I ain't a greedy guts. But uh, let's... Just take these bags out, so, what is this, 17? Like, bro, there were so many bags that they were selling. Um, so, I'm gonna take both bags out. I think there's like two loose pets in here as well. These two, oh my god, okay, I'm so excited. <laughs> and then we have, oop, lot two, 21. Does that mean there's 21 pets in here? Uh, sure, hope so. I don't know if you guys noticed, but that owl went absolutely flying off screen. My man got yeeted to the other side of the room. So, I believe each bag was about $20 each. Hopefully, that's a good investment. Just looking at things as they are, I think it's pretty much worth the price so far. Majority, if not all of these pets, I don't own. So, I'm very excited to see them. Uh, I can already see a couple doubles though, like these two are the same dog. So, there may be some customs in the future using them, I'm not too sure. But um, I'll show you these three loose ones down here and then we'll get onto each bag. First up, we have this Sparkly Dalmatian, a very, very underrated mold of LPS. I think Hasbro only made like two or three designs with this particular pet mold before they started transitioning to G3, which is just, it's the dark ages. Honestly, G3 is really just, <laughs> that's the turning point for Hasbro. <laughs> But I really, really like this one. I would love to absolutely just make like a pink version of this. Like change nothing else but the color like of the patches. So make it pink. Um, considering I have at least two in this lot, I may do that in the future. So let me know if you guys would like to see a video on it or maybe just like a quick TikTok because I think it would look really pretty to have a purple and pink version. Also, I'm not sure if you can see, but he's gonna need a bit of scrubbing. Honestly, as long as there's no chipping or really bad staining, I'm not gonna complain because those kind of dirt marks, super easy to clean up. But next up we have this owl. I love this pet so much. It reminds me of Blathers from Animal Crossing. I know it doesn't really look like him, but I feel like the big head really reminds me of Blathers. I don't know. I've just been in the Animal Crossing mood lately, even though I haven't been playing it, uh, kind of guilty as charged. My villagers are probably like starving, but yeah. Oh, we have this angelic German Shepherd, one of my favorite German Shepherds, if not my favorite, some may say. I absolutely love her so much. This German Shepherd mold is beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, stupendous, 10 out of 10 would buy again. 
she is beautiful I love her I cannot wait to use her in videos she just oh my I, I can't I can't I can't and in such good condition as well my god so let's move on to the bags I'm gonna start with this one here because it looks like it has some G3 and G4 pets so we're gonna get them out of the way first so let's just tip everything out and see where we go from there Alrighty, so we have this Boston Terrier, which I'm pretty sure is a postcard pet, just going off all the designs. Um, very cute. There is some red staining on his mouth, which I don't know if I'll be able to get off. Usually, like, red ink is almost impossible to get off LPS, at least for me. I don't know if you guys have any tips and tricks. Please let me know in the comments down below. I know a lot of people say acetone, and that does help, but I still have so much trouble with red stains, so please, 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 any tips and tricks will be greatly appreciated. Either that, or I'm making up my own law for this little man. He is now a vampire. Okay, okay. Dracula, yes. This husky, which came with the adoption center, and I actually have the puppy husky, this one right here, which which is meant to come with this regular husky so now I finally have the matching pair I've actually been wanting this husky for quite a while I feel like it's quite unique colors and design for this mold so really happy to finally have it and to kind of complete the little pair of the brother and sister I'm just so happy these aren't rusty I've been getting so many rusty LPS lately and it's nice just not to be having to clean my LPS with gloves all the time because Bro, rust is so gross to clean. We have this little turtle. He kind of looks like he's going through something. Like, he ate something bad and he's just like, he's freaking out right now. Sir, are you okay? We have this beaver. And I have such a soft spot for LPS beavers. I just love their little buck teeth. As somebody who has slightly bucked teeth, I love it. I, representation, am I right, guys? I love diversity in LPS. But yeah, I, I love this pet. I, I don't think it's a postcard pet, even though it's like postcard pet themed. I think it was just like a wacky design. Hasbro was in a silly, goofy mood. Um, but I like it. I think the colors go really well together. The kind of shades that they chose of blue and kind of like mauve really, really mix well. A fallen soldier, gone before his time. But don't worry, doctor. This is G4. We just popped their heads back on and he's good as new. I ain't gonna lie though, he's actually kind of cute. I feel like if it wasn't this disgusting pink color, I'd really like him. So I'm thinking of customizing this little guy because let's be honest, nobody's going to care about a G4 custom. But if I can shazam him into something really cute, I'll love him forever. Speaking of G4, here's an abomination of a kangaroo. Again, it feels like they could have done so much more, but they didn't. <laughs> So this will probably be another custom or, you know, just props for decapitated pets in my horror videos because we all know I love them. There's this G3 bird, which I'm not too angry about. Like, for me, this is better than those G4 pets, personally. Like, I know he ain't the cutest, but he's trying. He's trying. There's this walkable LPS cat, which, surprise, surprise, does not walk. <laughs> I'm sure a change of batteries will fix him right up, but it's very cute. I really like the LPS walkable designs. They would have made some adorable regular LPS, and that would have been, like, my favorite kind of thing if they had done that, like, made walkable versions and non-walkable versions. But I'm still happy with it, and I could definitely, you know, pop some new batteries in and use him for a video. We have this pig who looks very naked. I'm not going to lie my man is on the nude beach right now living his best life but hey more power to him <laughs> i really don't know how i feel about this color it feels so odd like the pink and the cream completely switched i don't know it, it, it's weird it's weird he's making me uncomfortable sir cover up there's two of these ferrets i'm not mad about it though because the eyes on these ferrets are absolutely gorgeous and i could definitely make a little custom out of one of these but keep the eyes because i love this shade of green whenever i say my favorite color is green it's this shade right here like the darker green underneath i absolutely love it it's just so earthy and alive and, and mother nature and and ferret eyes have an angora cat which i do already have this one but he is such a little sir such a little man look at that mustache i cannot be angry at him and i love him there's also this german shepherd which i'm actually really excited to get because this is a double however my one's head is completely just broken like her neck gone absolutely snapped so super happy to get this one because look at that neck look at that posture 
so uh, yes very very happy to get this one because mine was broken ever since I bought it like it came like that in the package so to finally get one to replace that um, I'm ecstatic like I cannot wait to use her in videos and then lastly for this first pack of pets we have this Great Dane yes yes that's right baby Great Dane let's go I feel like the eyes are super glossy I don't know maybe they put a bit of varnish on them themselves like the previous owners but if they did, they did a good job because god damn. Anyway, <laughs> um, I really love this design. It gives me more feminine kind of energy than masculine, maybe because the eyelashes. And I'm kind of happy about that because all of the Great Danes for me personally, besides like one or two, are very masculine looking in my opinion. So to get one that's more feminine looking is always nice because I want to mix it up and I want to like have like a mum great dane in a story sometimes or a mum great dane like main character so i'm really really excited about this everything seems to be in really good condition as well like the tail's still attached the head doesn't seem really loose or anything so i'm so freaking happy to have this pet Alrighty, second bag let's get into this i actually see a couple doubles so i'm quickly going to show you them but here we go oh 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 hello Alright, so there's actually a couple doubles from the first pack that we opened. Um, so I don't know, maybe this person just like really liked collecting doubles. But we have another one of these Dalmatians. This one's in a little worse condition, so this is definitely going to be our custom candidate. We got another one of these beavers. And then for me personally, out of my collection, I already have these five pets as well. This Persian cat whose head is uh, a little too popped up. This terrier, which I'm really surprised at how clean he is. Like, there's a bit of schmuck on the back. But in general, white LPS always look disgusting. And this guy's looking pretty good. This love bug. And I've really been dying to do a love bug custom. I think they are really, really pretty pets. And there's so much you could do with them. I really want to do, like, a nature love-themed love bug custom. So I'm definitely doing a video on that. Whether you guys want it or not, <laughs> I'm making it because I really, really want to do this. This little meerkat. And this dragonfly, and I think we all know what's happening to this little guy. I'm gonna yoink your wings and use it for a custom. I'm sorry, sir, but you're gonna be the sacrifice. Oh, and I also have this monkey already. I apologize, I didn't see him in the pile. Now, as for the new pets, there's actually like a decent amount of them, which I'm really happy about. Like, we had majority of the pets in the first pack were new, but I was kind of worried about this pack seeing how many doubles there were, but there's also a good variety of new pets. No big five like the first pack, unfortunately, but still some pets that I've been wanting, specifically some sparkle pets, like this fish. I love this this fish I believe these are called angel fish correct me if I'm wrong they might be like guppies or something I don't know but I love the sparkles I love the blue shade the kind of gradient Ugh, my god I miss sparkle pets so much and another sparkle pet is this anteater I love anteater pets so much I have one other design but this one is my favorite and I think this is kind of like the most iconic anteater that Hasbro made just look at him, look at his little snout. Ah, oh, what a cutie. The only drawback is his head is like very, very loose. So yeah, I, I don't know if I'll be able to fix that. I might with like a blow dryer or something, but he's very cute nonetheless. And I actually really want to take some photos with him. I think he'd look very bougie. There's this little chinchilla who is absolutely gorgeous. Love the pastel colors. I think it works really well. And I love when they give like little muzzle patches. I think that's just like the cutest thing for LPS. We have monkey. I, I really I really don't know what to say about this pet. Honestly, it's just bro, kill it with fire. Like, I'm sorry, but my god. There's this bird. I love the colours. It's very motherly vibes from this one. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe because my mom likes these colours. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I feel like this is a little mummy bird. We have this swan LPS and I'm very conflicted. I kind of like how it looks just as it is, even with the kind of weird G3 eyes. But I also really want to customize it. Maybe just like remove this little music note. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I, I kind of like if it was like that. I would really love it because I don't mind how the eyes look on this pet. I think they stand out really nicely. So yeah, maybe I should just like remove that with some acetone. Unpopular opinion, shoot me if you must, but I like how this pet looks, like genuinely. I think it's really cute. We have this paw up cat. I have a tendency to call these like paw up cats or like lucky cats because they remind me of the cats that are like waving. 
Um, but yeah, this is like the limited edition one because it has a little, oh, hello autofocus, the little stamp on the back. Um, I like it. I think it's cute. It is a massive pet. Like here it is compared to a woodpecker. Like she a big girl. And speaking of woodpecker, we have this beautiful little woodpecker here. The eyes are a little dirty. I don't know what's going on there. But easy clean, easy clean, don't even worry about it. We have another G4 pet that in my eyes has a lot of potential as a custom. So I'm definitely going to customize this one. It's a very cute mold. The eyes I feel like really mess it up and even the mouth a bit. So we're going to transform her. Don't worry about it. She's going to look beautiful once she's been through with me. There's this little dove and or pigeon, whichever way you want to look at it. I like these pets. I feel like it looks kind of grumpy, but I like that. I don't know, I feel like I have a character ready in my head for him, so uh, you'll definitely be seeing him in some future videos because I, I have some ideas for this little guy. He's very cute and very grumpy and I love him. So we have Zoe Trent. I can't believe I remembered her name because I never watched the TV show, but like LPS knowledge is burned into my brain at this point. Like you could ask me anything about LPS and I'd eventually figure it out, like it's bad. Like I'm addicted, hello? <laughs> but here she is. Um, I'm not too fond of this pet. I'll probably find something to do with her or maybe even give her to my niece um, because she also likes playing with LPS sometimes. So yeah, either way she'll go to a good cause. Don't worry guys, I don't just like throw out my LPS or anything. They always find a home, trust me. We got this little baby bird who has an Elvis curl going on. So love that. Thank you, thank you very much, ladies and gents. That was a terrible impression. I'm sorry, please just, um, just leave the video. <laughs> I won't blame you, just leave, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then lastly we have this little bee. He is very dirty, probably the dirtiest LPS here, and he has some staining. Thankfully it's only on the back though, so it should be pretty easy to clean up. Um, but he's very cute. I like him, I am a big lover of bees, so I'm never gonna turn down an LPS bee. Trust me, he is a king in my eyes. So here's an overview of all the LPS that I opened today. It was actually a lot more than I expected. Um, I didn't count them all up, but I will put the number on screen right now so you guys know. Um, I'm super happy with this. I personally think it was the $20 per bag worth the price. If that makes sense? I think it was worth the price, long story short. Um, super happy about the Great Dane. <laughs> Honestly, like, I love all types of LPS, but I'm an LPS tuba and, like, I get excited about Big Five LPS, what can I say? Um, but besides that, love the Anteater, the German Shepherd. Honestly, there's a lot of pets in here I love. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, it's a good mix of pets. I hope you guys enjoyed just a chill little unboxing, hanging with your girl. Um, let me know what you think of the pets in the description down below and like I mentioned if anybody has any cleaning tips for red stains Please do let me know. I would be much appreciated um, For that because I'm struggling to clean these red stains like your girl needs help. Please 911 emergency Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed like always Please don't forget to like comment and of course subscribe and I will see you guys very soon with some more short films. Wink, wink. I got some exciting stuff planned. I ain't gonna lie. And uh, maybe some more unboxings as well. Who knows? I hope you all have an amazing day. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.